Kashin Koji awakened a power from Shibayo Tsutsuki and revealed several alternate futures. In some realities, Boruto is killed, while in others, some characters consume the chakra fruit. This unexpected power of Kashin Koji is unimaginable. It is a skill that not only reveals the past and the future, but all possible futures, as well as different timelines. This technique, known as Ten Directions, is one of Shibayo Tsutsuki's most powerful Shinjutsus, and Kashin Koji awakened it thanks to Amado. During his intense battle against Ishiki, Koji was pushed to his limit, and at this critical moment, manifested a power that could change everyone's fate. But this is not just an ordinary ability. With 10 directions, Kashin Koji was able to see frightening alternate futures. He saw Naruto being killed, Boruto being sacrificed to cultivate the chakra fruit, and even the earth being destroyed. In one of these timelines, Ishiki manages to reincarnate through Kawaki and uses the Jubi to devastate the planet. In another, Kawaki kills Boruto and Sarada, completely altering the course of events we know. And the most disturbing part, who is manipulating these timelines? Is Shibayo Tsutsuki behind this, altering the future to ensure that Boruto stays alive? The pieces of the puzzle are beginning to fall into place, and the truth behind Kashin Koji's power might be even more terrifying than we imagined. Prepare to dive into this complex enigma and discover how Kashin Koji gained his powers. How Kashin Koji gained his powers. In chapter 13 of Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, we were surprised by a new power of Kashin Koji. This ability, known as Ten Directions, allows Koji to see the past and the future, as well as all possible futures and different timelines. This is a power of Shibayo Tsutsuki that Kashin Koji acquired thanks to Amado. He explains that all members of Kara received cells from Shibai, an Otsutsuki who mastered all existing Shinjutsus. Amado's goal was to awaken any ability of Shibai, and characters like Ada, Demon, and Code have powers from him. However, some members of Kara never awakened these powers, like Boro and Delta. But Kashin Koji managed to manifest the power of Ten Directions in his fight against Ishiki. Ishiki pushed Kashin Koji to his limits, allowing Koji to manifest a Shinjutsu of Shibai. He explained that reality does not have a fixed future and that various factors can alter destiny. The power of Ten Directions allows seeing all possible futures, making Koji aware of everything before it even happens. Kashin Koji saw the future. Kashin Koji awakened his powers during his fight against Ishiki. When Koji was defeated, he was ready to be killed, as his mission was only to revive Ishiki so that Naruto and Sasuke could defeat him definitively. However, at a critical moment, Kashin Koji began to see various future events, things that were yet to happen. Among them was the battle between Ishiki and Naruto, where the Baryon mode is awakened thanks to Kurama's powers. Koji also managed to see Ishiki's death with his powers. Another future Kashin Koji saw was Code creating an army of Garasujas, where he used his powers to shape the Jubi into various creatures to attack Konoha and find Boruto. Koji also witnessed Ada's omnipotence, knowing in advance that Boruto and Kawaki would swap positions. Another event Koji foresaw was the creation of the Shinjus from the Jubi, as well as Sasuke being trapped in a tree and the creation of Hidari. In this chapter, we also discover how Kashin Koji trained Boruto. He used the power of 10 directions to foresee the abilities Boruto would have in the future, and thus simply helped Boruto master these skills. This is how Koji taught Boruto the Hiraishin, seeing Boruto use this power in the future. Naruto died in a timeline. Kashin Koji explains that some futures were avoided, such as the future where Naruto is killed by Ishiki. The power of Baryon Mode was truly incredible, with Naruto delivering an epic beatdown to Ishiki. However, in the end, Baryon Mode left Naruto exhausted and paralyzed on the ground. If Ishiki had wanted to, he could have killed Naruto. He didn't do it because he preferred to threaten Kawaki, saying he would kill Naruto if Kawaki didn't show up. But Ishiki could have killed Naruto, who was on the ground, unable to move. In another timeline, Ishiki did exactly that and succeeded in finding Kawaki and placing a new karma on him. In this timeline, Sasuke probably also died. Kashin Koji explains that in this timeline, Ishiki reincarnated through Kawaki 
and then went to the Jubi's dimension, brought it to Earth, and planted a divine tree using Boruto as a sacrifice to cultivate a chakra fruit. In this future, Ishiki gained power greater than Kaguya's, being surpassed only by Shibai in terms of power. For those who don't know, a chakra fruit contains all the genetic data and powers that have ever existed on the planet, which makes Earth so coveted by the Otsutsuki. However, this alternate future was somehow altered. Kawaki killed Boruto and Sarada. Another future that did not happen was when Kawaki imprisoned Naruto and Hinata in the Daikokuten dimension in the current timeline. Kawaki was unable to kill Boruto and fled, with Ada's omnipotence swapping his position with Boruto's. However, in another timeline, Kawaki killed Boruto after a fight between the two and also eliminated Sarada, who tried to help Boruto during the confrontation. In this alternate future, Ada's omnipotence never occurred, as Kawaki fled the village after eliminating Boruto and Momoshiki as a consequence. According to Kashinkoji, Kawaki was killed by Code in this timeline. This Kawaki had Ishiki's powers, while Code was without power limiters. According to Kashinkoji, in this alternate future, Boruto was again used as a sacrifice to cultivate a chakra fruit and died as a result, along with all the people on Earth as Code managed to destroy the planet and consume the chakra fruit, thereby acquiring several new powers. In this future, Code's power level would be surpassed only by Shibai. It is interesting to note that, in several different futures, Boruto is killed by the Jubi, but whenever this happens, something changes and saves him, as if there were a divine intervention to keep him alive, as Jura stated in this chapter. Divine Tree destroyed the Earth, Another alternate future that did not materialize was Boruto's death. When Kashin Koji explained about the Shinjus and Jura, he stated that Boruto would be killed by him. In this chapter, we saw that Jura nearly killed Boruto, but the attack did not hit the vital points, and Jura had to return to his base to save Hidari. However, in an alternate timeline, Jura kills Boruto with his powers, but this future was avoided, at least for now. Koji explains that in this future, Kawaki is devoured by the Jubi and used as a sacrifice to cultivate a chakra fruit, and the earth is rendered extinct. The future where Boruto is killed by Jura could still happen, but it seems that it should have occurred the last time, so it's unlikely that Boruto will be killed by Jura. However, this timeline confirms that Kawaki is not strong enough to defeat Jura. Only Boruto has the power to do so, as it was confirmed that in this timeline, Kawaki was defeated by Jura, even while using Karma powers, who changed the timeline. For those who have watched Loki, the concept of timelines and alternate futures is very clear. Basically, there are infinite possibilities and events that can change the timeline and create different futures. In Boruto, this is exactly what is happening. There are various alternate futures that could occur, and in some, events unfold differently. At the beginning of chapter 13, Jura says something that caught my attention. He stated that Boruto is a lucky man for being alive, and it seems that there is some divine intervention happening to keep him alive. It's just a theory, but what if Shibayo Tsutsuki is altering the timeline to keep Boruto alive? In all the alternate futures Kashin Koji saw, Boruto is either devoured by the divine tree or killed, but we know that Shibai has been a significant presence in the story as several characters have his powers. For now, it's just a theory. But in my opinion, the divine intervention Jura mentioned was not just a throwaway line in the story. What other updates will emerge in the Boruto manga? Here on Nerd Ficando, you'll find all the latest updates from the Boruto universe, along with the best explanations of everything happening in the manga. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. On the screen are two videos you'll love.